Hey guys, Tierney here for a real quick tutorial. Um, I was introduced to creating a tag kit in one of my Facebook crafting groups and I will put the link to that group down below. And the task was daunting, however it was fun. And the request was to make a tag kit. And so I made the tag an example. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be the exact same way uh, that I designed here. However, um, I'll create 13 different tag kits and each tag kit includes one piece of cardstock, a heavy card base, cardstock base, um, and in this case I used a double-sided cardstock so even though you see I used one piece here, you can easily flip it and you can maybe do um, with a white middle and maybe switch it up there at the top. And you have to have an embellish, uh, three embellishments and a sentiment, a 12 inch ribbon or lace sort of embellishment, and also an image. So in each of these kits, um, I've followed directions and added um, each of those things. I think I added an additional fourth embellishment to my kits. Um, I also created my kit using Doodlebug Design Ink um, supplies. I used the Doodlebug 6x6 paper pad, which are all double-sided cardstock. Um, and this is the from the Fairy Garden collection. And I also use my, some of them have sediments attached. I used a piece of that cardstock that had super cute little note cards and used this as my image and my sentiment for some. But I did include an additional sentiment if you weren't happy with that. I adhered a piece of foam tape to add some dimension one of the requirements was no flat peeling stamp. So what better way to make that not flat anymore? You can miter the corners of this to create a rounded effect if you want to. Like I said, I put the basics into the kit so it's totally up to the person who receives it to add their own additional touch, which I can't wait to see what everybody does with the kit that I sent. And then I added a piece of red and, or sorry, pink and white twine. Um, I added some super cute little shiny butterflies and flowers that went with this garden fairy theme, and some adorable flower paper flowers with rhinestones attached already um, to them. In addition to what I've added, I also used my doodle bug design ink kit from the Hippity Hoppity collection, uh, the chit chats, um, the die cut pieces. So I used various sentiments um, to add to the cardstock base tag. And I used this one, thank you very much. And you wouldn't think that those are two pieces. I could have popped this up like this, but I wanted to add dimensions specifically to here. But other than that, that is it. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. Um, these are sort of a scalloped edge cardstock. And you can use it either way. You can maybe do it uh, horizontally or vertically. And in this case, I did it in a vertical sense. I use my glue tape, my glue gun tape. Uh, this is a Recollections, although I rebranded it with the, picture, the Craft and Loft. And I used a hole punch to round some corners. And that's pretty much it. I would also probably, if I could have put one of these in each one of the kits, I would have my Wink of Stella glitter brushes. Um, let's see, this is purple and red. So in this case, I wanted to add a little hint of glitter to this just to add a little bit more dimension to my tag. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. Once you guys receive this kit, it's totally up to you how you want to decorate and design. 
and I also added this clip. I didn't add it in my original example. However, you can easily use that cute little clothespin to put your ribbon. You don't even have to do your twine. I said ribbon, but your twine. You don't have to do it the way I did it in a double bow, double knotted bow. You could just do a nice loose uh, whimsical style and just attach your clothespin to it. This style of cardstock base is perfect for something like this. You can put an eyelet in the middle of this to um, possibly run some string through or a ribbon through. It's totally up to you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, and like I said, it's just a walkthrough of how to create uh, one of these tags that I um, made a kit for. And like I said, you don't have to do it the exact same way that I designed it. I would like to see it made a little bit differently. Um, however, if you did make it the same way with the similar embellishments and images, it'd be awesome to see as well. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.